Okay, we're just gonna start. <laughs> Back in September of 20... This... Well, I mean, when all this goes out, it's not gonna be 2020 anymore. <laughs> so, I mean, anyway. So back in September of 2020, I did it. It's it is December right now. December 5th, 2020. I did a dream journal for the entire month. I tend to do this thing where I do things for a straight month and I just stop abruptly. Like, I did March is Honest. I was trying to read an entire book in a month. I uploaded for a month straight. I did my... I recorded my dreams for an entire month. And it's just like... Wow, just month, 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 and here we are. I finished it, and I don't remember anything of what I dreamt about. So I think this is gonna be just as a surprise as it is to you, to, as, to me as it is to you. <laughs> Dream journal. September 1st night, right? Because I sleep at night. I'm sure many of us do that. So I'm just gonna get into it, I guess. I'm just gonna start. So September 1st night, I wrote it down in here, a black book. It has this right here, but, oh, okay, whatever. Uh, <laughs> I, I was in the game of Outlast, and Pigman was being controlled by someone. If I killed Pigman, the person controlling him dies too. I didn't know that at first. <laughs> <laughs> so I found out when it happened. Also, Korra from Legend of Korra was was in it, and after I won against Pigman, she took me to Republic City. Oh. There were other things, I'm sure, because I woke up on and off that night. So basically how this worked was, when I fell asleep September 1st, I woke up September 2nd, and I wrote it. Okay, do you understand? Every morning I woke up, I wrote down what happened in the dream. I, I mean, I'm sure you could have already pieced that together yourself. But anyway, September 2nd night. Yeah, so I, I had a huge, like, binge watch of Avatar The Last Airbender and Legend of Korra. And Legend of Korra was really cool, so it... it happened in my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> September 2nd night. I had a friend who would drive me places. If I said the wrong thing, he would throw me out on the side of the road. <laughs> and then I have in parentheses, fake. <laughs> what does that mean? A fake friend. <laughs> I ended up saying something a little wrong and I saw his eyes widen. Something more happened, but I forgot while picking up the book. Damn! What the hell? Uh, okay, so it continues. I went back to sleep, looked in the mirror, saw that I was Freddy Krueger. <laughs> I couldn't remember the name though. What? Oh, I couldn't remember Freddy Krueger. Kruger? Uh, so I was asking my parents and they didn't know. I think they didn't know because I didn't know. <laughs> In the dream? <laughs> what the fuck? Then we were just bonding, laughing, talking, hugging. Okay. September 3rd. Okay. Oh my god. Clock. Jesus. Anyway, I've been recording for four minutes. Do you guys, do you guys want to do this anymore? I don't, I don't think I want to do this anymore. Anyway, I okay. So in the dream, you know how you think things, and your dream is limited to only what you know. So like, since I asked my parents and they didn't know, I think that they didn't know because I didn't know. Does that make sense? Because it was in my dream. Uh, September third night. I had two that I almost remembered but can't now. Okay. <laughs> All right, September 4th night. Oh, this one is beefy. Okay, I hung out with Mark and Ethan, you know, back when Unis Honest was a thing. Ethan was being funny, and I said, oh my god, Mark, you can get paid for being a paid executioner. And I have in parentheses about society nowadays. Sensitivity. There was another dream where my cousin Devin, another, and another friend whose name I can't remember, were in my house after driving during the apocalypse. And I have in parentheses, of some kind. And we were sweeping all the rooms for dinosaurs. Dinosaurs, ladies and gentlemen. Outside, there was a huge dead dinosaur. And inside the house, we all had heard something. The lights were flickering on and off. On and off. <laughs> There was a note from the sheriff's son. Not the sheriff, the sheriff's son. <laughs> I can't remember what it's about. Believe that's it. Okay, so this one, this one was one of my favorite dreams. I can remember this now because it was so graphic. Whatever happened, happened in like super like high, like everything, the structure of the dream was all the way up. 
<laughs> and I remembered everything. <laughs> so I think this one so far is the one that I've written the most on. Yeah, September 4th. All right, and September 5th night, um, first time. Don't really remember, but it was just one thing. Sitting back, listening to music, specifically Jason Derulo and Neo, because of you. I think that's a song. Is that a song? Also something to do with Ethan from Unis Anis. Second time, Rick, the Rick Roll guy. Rick Ainsley, is that... Uh, Astley? Cut that out. If it's... <laughs> just whatever. <laughs> Say his real name in parentheses. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I have a... <laughs> September 6th night. I look good in a fighting gi. I met everyone in Avatar The Last Airbender. My cheeks were squishy. <laughs> We're, oh, I misspelled we're, I put W-E apostrophe E-R. We're both capable of, we're both capable or something, of something? Last, and I have triple dot last thing. I don't, I don't know what's going on right now. I'm really confused. I can't remember, me and everyone in Avatar The Last Airbender were all in cages and chains? When I looked at Uncle Iroh, he smiled with a huge smile. Also, I had a dream that I might not have class tomorrow on the 7th because it's Labor Day. We'll see, I will be back with an update. Was no class. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was the update, was no class, <laughs> everybody. That should be a meme. Was no class, I don't know, was no class. <laughs> WAS NO CLASS! <laughs> September 7th night. I'm sure that- oh my god, there's a lot written in this one, dude. I'm sure there was more dream- I'm sure there were more dreams than this, but this is all I remember. There was conflict of some sort. I heard counting, 1 to 12 and more, in an old Broadway voice. What? And I saw myself doing athletics. Handstand slash flip with my arms in a gym of some sort. Then I saw myself in the living room. I was doing athletics. Okay. What the hell? I did- I think I did pretty much the same thing, but it was slower than the first one. I think it's because it was supposed to be a dream versus what will happen concept. I think- What the fu- Why do I keep saying I think? Sorry for swearing. <laughs> I think that it is. I think that is it. I think that is it. I think I was also in a grocery store at one point, saw a huge pie being cut, and I was with some of my old friends, saw someone who hated me. I said hi, but they ignored me. I said hi more than once, then one of my friends patted me on my back. That made me feel better, so I talked more. Time passed by and I wanted to tell a joke, so I said it, and then the friend who patted my back walked away from me out of irritation and everyone else ignored both me and the joke I had said. Wow, that's kind of sad, dude. September 8th night! <laughs> was doing homework of some sort, then all of a sudden I was scared to be captured by the Fire Nation. <laughs> by the Fire Nation! <laughs> I was doing homework. I, ah! <laughs> I said, how can anyone get around anywhere and not get captured by Zuko? I did not get captured by him, but I wanted to know where he was so I can know he's far away. I never ended up doing my homework. <laughs> <laughs> September 9th night. I can't, I can't remember anything. There were dreams. I just can't remember. Believe it had something to do with Avatar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> September 10th night. I can't remember anything. There was so many dreams. There were awesome, they were awesome though. Had something to do with a storm. All right. Well, there you go. All right. <laughs> September 11th night. Can't remember. I think it had something to do with Avatar The Last Airbender or Legend of Korra because it, I finished Legend of Korra last night. I also started Avatar The Last Airbender again. All right. September 12th night, I was in the middle of taking a test of some sort. I think it was math. <laughs> okay. This was the only one I remember, but I got to a question slash certain type of test that I was stumped on. So then I woke up without even realizing. I think there was a part where I was talking to Uncle Iroh. Okay. That's pretty much, that's it. That's the, I forgot what I just said. Um, September 13th. Stupid released a new song and then next to stupid I have in parentheses Jake Paul Wait a minute Jake Paul released a new song 
that's pretty much all I remember. Hold on, wait, didn't... Hold on. This was written September 13th night. This happened September 13th night. So if there's a song that Jake Paul released in uh, September like 14th or something or anything after 13th and 12th, then am I like psychic? Let me go to Jake Paul's channel. Because this was recorded on September 13th, 2020, right? Hold on. Because he did release some songs. Wait, he has a song September 10th. Okay, I guess I'm not as cool as I thought. Yeah, I don't think I'm as cool as I thought. MOVING ON! September 14th, something to do with sports, track and field, then I slept, I was thirsty. That's it. <laughs> That's all I wrote. September 15th night. There was more- There was one dream that I forgot. I tried to remember, then fell asleep again. My next dream, my parents and I were joking around, there were happy vibes, and then I said shut up as a joke. Then my dad got upset. Then I went outside and looked at bananas. That or it was an empty box of bananas. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> Fine, that's awesome. September 16th night. Yeah, okay. Was driving around town, then stopped at a candy shop. There was chip brands named after famous rappers. There was a deal for me to get candy and I was told to get something chemical. I didn't know what that meant. Would this be considered chemical, I said? Cause, cause there's a giant chemical toy on it. Toy? Okay. The lady said, um, no, but you can get it. I won't tell anyone, it doesn't matter. And I think that's it. <laughs> See what's weird is, first of all, my handwriting is bad. And second of all, I write in first person and third person point of view. And it's really confusing. I, like, I tell a story of, like, with quotes in it. And then I'm saying, like, to the book. And I think that's it. Like, I'm telling a story to the viewer. And then I'm writing down what I think is in it. Like, it's it, it's written super weirdly. I don't under I don't know. September seventeenth night. I was walking around the world of Avatar at night. I saw the pirates. This is not a love song. <laughs> what? Sokka. What? Why did I say that? This is not a love song. Sokka said Katara. As he was frozen halfway in the ice. <laughs> That's like something from the movie. I have these like movie quotes that are stuck in my head every now and then. There was an invasion of birds. Then I felt something hit my head from the top. It was bird poop. The birds then started to fly like a tornado and poop why and poop while flying. <laughs> and they started to poop while flying. Oh my god. <laughs> we went inside my cousin's house until the birds stopped. Then when I came home, my mom told me to wait here. My mom told me to wait here. Something is wrong, I thought. My mom then showed me Joey, and he was beat up from the birds. Oh, hell no. Hell no. <laughs> um, I saw that the window next to him was broken, so I thought... That's how the birds got to him. September 18th night. Yeah, yeah, rip Joey, man. Rip Joey. September 18th night. I needed help from my parents because there was a spider in a spider web in my bed, in my room. And there was also a hole in the wall. I run out of my room. I see out of the windows. Someone is pulling into the driveway. Oh, God. This dream was insane. I remember this one. So I go to the door, open it, and go outside. Oh, shit. Oh my god. Okay, I go outside to make sure they don't come inside. Two old ladies got out of the vehicle. They looked very creepy. One of them were saying something, but I can't remember exactly. And one was very passionate and wanted to teach someone earthbending for them. I said, earthbending? And put my hand on her chest and my heel behind her foot and sweeped her from the ground causing me to hear a loud crack. Her friend was very slow. I ran back to the door and saw two other old people laying down, okay? They were even scarier. And then I put in parentheses, don't forget about what one of the cars did when you walked outside. Okay, so one of the cars were flipped over against the house and on fire. And I was like, what the heck? So that caused me to wake up 
Okay, now I'm writing in uh, stupid third person or whatever the fuck it's called. This is me like when I woke up, I started writing this. Hold on, you'll see. It's the weekend. I don't know what time it is yet. I'm scared to look at the clock just because what if the old ladies are here or will be here soon? And then I have in parentheses and my parents aren't here. Also, don't forget to say how spooky it actually was. The lady said after I was trying to push her away, she said, I feel like you don't want to teach them earthbending. There were other dreams I just can't remember also through my bacon in the sink. Okay, um, basically why this one was so creepy, was so scary, is because, um, in the dream, whenever I woke up, I looked at the clock, and it was exactly how it, it was exactly how it happened. I woke up from a dream, which was still a dream, and then I had that, you know, that thing that happened outside, with the flipped over car and the lady that I sweeped from the ground. Basically, before I saw the old ladies and stuff, I looked at the clock, I was home alone, and food just came up. I just had a snack just now. What the fuck? All right, anyway. And exactly how it happened. I woke up for real this time after the old lady scared me. I woke up for real and it was exactly how the dream went. So I was like, oh my God, is this going to actually happen? Because I was home alone. I looked at the clock. I was like, oh my God, should I look at the clock? You know what I mean? <laughs> September 19th night. Wow, we're almost... Kind of almost finished. I'm on 25 minutes of recording. September 19th. September 19th night. There was a huge battle between culture, governments, people, and it was sad, but cool. Explain later. Spoiled, gover spoiled governments, two fighters, slash igloo, slash two races of people. Parentheses. Don't remember. I think one was Jewish. And they were the good guys. In parentheses. They bad guy lost the fight. He wasn't as good as the good guy. Uh, it was a close fight, though. It almost looked unfair for the good guy. David and Goliath situation. You can ask me as many times as you want what this means. I don't know! September 20th night. Don't remember, but... There were some or many dreams. <laughs> All right, thanks, Trey. <laughs> September 21st night. I had a dream, many of them. I just forgot to write about it. <laughs> Come on, dude. You've been doing this for 21 days. How can you freaking forget? September 22nd night. I don't remember, but I slept real hard. All right, cool. Good, cool deal, Trey. September 23rd night. I had a dream that I was playing Among Us. I have in, in quotes, among us with a bunch of people, with a bunch of people, I want to have a good game. She who told me that looked like Jess from 13 Reasons Why. She played for us. We were making a circle of monsters since the other team made a circle of non-monsters. So I don't think it was among us. Okay, so I think I remember this dream. It was like an among us kind of situation, like where you vote people out or you throw people outside. So that's why I thought it was Among Us. And I think this was when Among Us was, you know, getting popular too, so pretty cool. September 24th night, my mom threw away a lot of... I heard something. Okay. September 24th night, my mom threw away a lot of oranges in the trash. I asked, hey mom, why did you throw away all these oranges? She said, yes. I was confused. Then I think I woke up. Mom is apple juice gang? <laughs> Can't you just imagine like, you, f you hate someone for, the, for, the, for that day because you had a dream that you think that they're apple juice gang, or that you think that they're something that you hate, or, or something like that. You just have a dream about them, and you're just pissed off at them. And you don't even know why for that entire day because of something that happened in your dream. This is the funniest thing ever, dude. September 25th night. We were in class about to watch a movie called Crawfish. Okay, uh, a scary movie. It all of a sudden became real. I was in it. Then the point of view changed. Then I was, at least I'm addressing the point of view, dude. God damn, because it's so confusing. Uh, <laughs> everything that I've said up to, like, now, I think, 
is it made no sense <laughs> but hey whatever it's fine then the point of view changed then I was John from Garfield but older he was about to grab a pigeon but touching I was just not thinking should I um put should I put screenshots of like what I wrote in here I don't know I'll, I'll think about it. Whatever. All right. I'm gonna just do 25th night again because my recording stopped. We were in class about to watch a movie called Crawfish, a scary movie. It was all, it all of a sudden became real. I was in it. Then the point of view changed. Then I was John from Garfield, but older. He was about to grab a pigeon, but touching animals to possibly eat them in this post-apocalyptic world was not allowed. So they said, you're under arrest, point of view on him. Then he moved slowly with his hands up. Then he beat all of them up. Wow! This is John from Garfield, by the way. <laughs> September 26th night. I thought I hurt my tooth, period. Futuristic time, period. There were super cool cars. I think they were flying cars. Also, there was a scary dream that there was a robber or something along the lines of that. It was at night, so it seemed real because it woke me up and I was in my bed. So it was as if it actually happened in real life. September 27th night. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, I, I tend to think that, you know, a lot of bad things are happening at nighttime. Uh, September 27th night. Creepy guy at my dad's work. I got everyone's attention after asking, so is someone jealous? And he left right after. <sighs> Funny part where he asked, oh my god, it's five, shut up clock. Funny part where he asked if he can see the gun and they were actually going to give it to him, but I snatched it before he got it. He tried to say that he wasn't going to do anything, but I'm not stupid. September 28th night. I think I was just watching Avatar The Last Airbender. I saw Zuko and Katara. Alright, that's it. Uh, September 29th night. Don't remember any dreams. <laughs> that's it. September 30th night. Don't remember three exclamation marks. October 1st. Don't remember, but it was cool. <laughs> Alright, I like how I made an effort to continue into the next month. But, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this very long, possibly very long video. If I were to guess how long this video would be, I would say 23, 24 minutes! Probably 24 minutes, right? Is it? 24? No, 15. I think it's... 18 minutes? No, there's no way. I don't know. Tell me in the comments! How about that? Tell me in the comments how long this video is. <laughs> um, I hope... I hope you guys are hyped. I'm hyped. As of right now, I'm, I think I'm happy. Things are okay. And... Yeah. Good luck, Trey. I hope you're doing all right. Tell me if I should do this again. Tell me if I should do this dream thing again some sometime. Cause it was pretty mu it was pretty much a lot of fun. If I, whenever I remembered to record them, that is, I got me some peppermint tea, right? Cause Christmas is coming up. And I'm sorry if this is awkward. Like having all of these videos like this pre-recorded. It, it, this is 104, right? And it, I only have me and uh, my editor that I have and you know Carson is here with me it's only like a pretty much a three-man team pretty much you know I hope you guys enjoy I'll s and I'll see you guys tomorrow see you later oh no wait let's get a let, let's get a thumbnail let's get a thumbnail let's get a funny thumbnail Let's put the light like this. Oh, this is it, I think. More light on my face. Wait, I need to raise the lamp. We need to raise it, and then... Oh, this is it, I think.
There we go. Towards the end, right there. Okay. <sighs> gang, gang. Beep, Tweebot.